The idea of trying to turn your life into something more like a video game has been around for years. Apps that try and gamify your life by introducing habit trackers and things like that. Other ways of actually tracking it where there's say a virtual pet or something that you take care of. And as long as you fulfill your habits and goals, that virtual pet stays okay. Duolingo, learning a new language and making it so that you have streaks, reasons to come back. There are dozens of companies, apps, services, and more out there that all try and emulate this idea of what makes a video game fun and try and integrate it into real life. Now, I just got finished reading this book called Actionable Gamification, which is a very, very good read, basically talking about the new era of gamification and focusing on more human design to make things more fun and engaging, much as they are in video games, but apply to things in our normal life. If you're interested, I'll leave a link down below in the description where you can actually see that. But it's got me thinking, bringing me back to this idea of how can I make my life more like a video game? How can I take what makes a video game fun and engaging and apply it to the things in my life that maybe aren't so fun and engaging? Now, to be honest, I've tried those habit trackers and I've tried those pet apps and I've tried the things that try and make your life, real life that is, more like a video game, try and incorporate those aspects. And really none of them have ever really reached the mark that really makes that game fun. It doesn't take the things that make a video game fun and apply it to real life. It just, well, kind of fails at it. So it got me thinking, what is it about video games that makes it so difficult to bring them to real life? I mean, what are the things in video games that are really fun that can't be replicated as well or haven't been actually attempted to be replicated as well in the real world? Well, I thought about a game I was playing recently, Fallout 4, and I thought to myself, wow, that has a quest log. You've got your main quest, the main parts of the story that you're trying to actually achieve that'll get you further, but then you also have your side quests. And I thought, well, with the technology we have today, why can't you incorporate something like this, like a quest log, but in real life? Taking something as simple as your life and generating main quest logs, the important things and tasks that you should try and do, and then little side quests that you may not have thought about before to try and make it more gamified. And so that's what I'm gonna try and build. So to truly push the limits of what it actually means to bring a quest log into real life, we have to break down what it would actually look like. Well, the main quest log would be the most important things that I know I have to actually achieve. These would be things that are set out by me in the beginning. But then also we would have side quests in there, things that are spontaneous and doable that I want to do, but I wouldn't have thought about otherwise. And it feels more fun to go do because it's not as planned and you know thought out. It's just more spontaneous. So I want to try and build something exactly like this that makes not just the mundane tasks of my life more fun, but just gives me more to do that keeps things interesting, like a video game. Adding that little bit of spontaneity that I don't already have in my day-to-day -day life. Now, if any of you here have seen Ali Abdal, you'll know that he has a great visual indicator for how he actually measures the different aspects of his life. Those being soul, romance, family, friends, growth, money, mission, body, and mind. Breaking it down into these nine separate categories really allows him to determine what he's succeeding in, what he isn't putting as much energy into, and what he is happy with, or what he wants to achieve more of in the coming years. So that's what I want to achieve. Some sort of hybrid model that takes this idea of the nine different aspects of your life and generates quests, main quests, side quests, that make your life more gamified. They don't have to you know, constantly pop up one after the other. They could pop up after a few weeks or a few days, or sometimes they won't even pop up for months. Who knows? But just this idea of having a quest log that's constantly updated and you can look back on. You can accept quests, you can deny quests, you can modify quests, things like that. Just to make life a little bit more interesting and breach that gap between what is actually fun in the real world and the spontaneity of a video game. The things that drive us forward, those different technologies that capture our attention and want us to actually pursue that goal, whatever it may be in that specific game. Except you don't know what the quests are gonna be. And training an AI model to actually understand the basics of who you are, what you'd like to do, what you don't like to do, so that it can successfully generate quests in real life that you wanna do that make life more interesting. And it could be anything. If we're talking soul here, it could be go find a nice place in a park to meditate if that's up your alley, or if that's not up your alley and you're much more into hiking, it could be go find a nice hike to do, or go do something else, go to a specific restaurant. There are tons of different options in those nine categories to be able to create gamified life experiences that you should set out to achieve. And essentially, this would replace for me a bucket list. Because of course, bucket lists are traditionally the things that we must do before we die. You know, we, we kind of knock them off our bucket list. But what if we could have quests on this quest log that are years long? You know, it could say something like, go to the top of the Eiffel Tower, go visit Machu Picchu, things of that nature. They don't specifically have to be related to travel, but at the very least, having these quests that we can shoot towards 
uh, would honestly make things a lot more fun because a problem a lot of people face in today's generations is that we don't actually know what to do after we get out of high school. Because once you get out of high school, you're not as directed as you were before then. The life path that you choose to take is just that, chose by you. So if you don't actually take the time to figure out what that is and, and shoot towards, sometimes you just it may end up floating. You may end up staying stagnant. And being stagnant is the first way you're gonna be unhappy because if you don't feel like you're moving forward, you're just gonna feel like you're in the same spot forever. And that's never a good thing. We like growth. So having some sort of external tool that helps us doesn't replace that, but it actually allows us to validate those feelings ourselves is what's gonna make this more gamified. And because we're basing this off of Ali Abdal's Wheel of Life, we're gonna be covering all different aspects of us and the different aspects of our lives. And because we're basing this on Ali Abdal's Wheel of Life, it makes it easy to cover for every person. I mean, of course you've got things like spirit in there and if you're not very spiritual, well then obviously you won't have as many quests on there. But if you are very spiritual, well, you could have a ton more quests on there. It's all broken down into nine separate categories and you actually get to pursue what you like to do the most. That's what makes it gamified. That's what makes it fun. That's what makes us keep coming back for more. We have quests that could expire, you know, something that only happens in the summertime and it pops up and it says, you've got three months to complete this quest. It could be visiting a specific restaurant or, you know, going for a run, something even as simple as that. But having the idea of having these timed quests just really brings a level of new interest to my life that I feel like would be really fun to pursue, especially going into the summertime. So now that the vision is laid out, let's lay down the exact idea of how this is gonna work. So now that we've got the foundations laid out, let's walk through exactly how I'm gonna go through this process because again, it's a fun project. There's no stakes in here. It could take me a month to build. It could take me six months to build. Who cares? It's all a process of having fun. But essentially here are the features that I actually wanna lay out. First of all, we need to have our main quests and our side quests. These are differing levels because obviously your main quests are gonna be more important and your side quests aren't gonna be as important. I wanna add some sort of point or badge system or streak system in there that incentivizes me to keep coming back to it. Again, we don't wanna do a habit tracker here or anything like that because something that you have to come back to on a daily basis, you know, for most people, that doesn't end up working in the long term. In the short term for things like Duolingo, that works, but oftentimes many people, the majority of which I would imagine, actually drop off the face of the platform. So for me, if I'm trying to make this as gamified as possible, it shouldn't feel like something that I have to come back to every single day. In fact, I should really only be going to it when I've either completed a quest, have made progress on a quest, or have gotten a new quest to go look at. And it should be something that's fun and engaging. I never know when I'm gonna get a new quest. And that's what makes this idea so fun because the spontaneity of having a thing pop up and say, okay, well, you've got one year to go fly in a hot air balloon. You know, say if you don't wanna fly in a hot air balloon, you could pass on that quest. But if you want to, and you wanna accept that quest, I mean, think about that. Somebody who would have never thought about flying in a hot air balloon gets that, me, me, never thought about flying in a hot air balloon. I get that quest and go, ah, one year to do that? Wow, that'd be interesting. Just implementing that little bit of spontaneity into my life would be something that I would love to do and make more like a video game. So I don't have a timeline for the amount of videos that I wanna produce on this or anything like that. I just wanna go and see where this project is gonna take me. Create something new, try something out. And it's gonna go in a couple different steps. The first stage that I'm thinking for this is actually the design process. Understanding exactly what those quests look like, what the main quests look like, what the side quests look like, how that timing works out. Obviously, the main quests are gonna be having longer time frames to actually complete them, but a shorter time frame to actually accept them. The idea here is I want people to be actively understanding the quests immediately and going, yes, I'm gonna accept that, or no, I'm gonna decline it. When somebody accepts or declines a quest, I want the AI to know why and get smarter. I want it to make adjustments based on the reasons why the person actually accepted it or declined it so that it can be better tailored for them. I'll try and do a little bit of customization in the beginning because obviously it's just gonna be me to start out with, but ideally I want this to be something that anybody could come to and from filling out just a few short questions about their likes, interests, desires, what they don't like to do, etc., they can get a fairly accurate quest log design for them right off the bat. And it doesn't have to be anything crazy, but it has to be based on them and tailored to them to add that level of gamification to their life. And just like an actionable gamification, I wanna implement the proven techniques that this book has jotted down from real world examples to actually make this app fun and engaging for me and for anybody who tries it out. I don't wanna fall into those same patterns that those habit apps do where they 
constantly reminding you to do things every single day and it just doesn't really provide that sort of you know hook that fun that video games do and the goal here is to do something that's much like a real life rpg and rpg irl if you will that way if i ever find myself facing a state of boredom dissatisfaction or simply wanting to do something new because i don't find myself busy enough or the things that i'm making myself busy with aren't satisfying to me anymore this would be not something that would be used as a crutch but would more so be used in a way that is comfortable for me if i want to do something new and spontaneous and fun well this would be an application that would be designed based on my preferences and i can have uh, ongoing at any given time the ability to do and fulfill these quests which i'll call them quests because i mean that's what an rpg game is it's something that has quests and as you progress further and further the quests get more and more difficult but that's what makes it so much more fun because the more you fulfill those quests much as you would in a video game the more satisfaction that you're going to get from them and typically the further on in the game you go the bigger the rewards are going to be as well at the end of the day here what i'm trying to create is the cure for boredom in any aspect of our lives whether it's romance whether it's money spirit body mind you know if you want to actually have a goal of making yourself have a six-pack well that could be a long-term quest or project that takes two years imagine it pops up one day and says oh this is in your body quadrant get a six-pack abs okay you're going to accept that quest here are the steps that you need to do to get that quest and you don't actually have to track the actual progress of that but as things are coming along you can pretty much self-report on how that quest is doing it's still early in the process, but I'm curious to see what your guys' thoughts are and what this actually would look like and how you could take this idea of curing boredom and actually apply it to something much like this, RPG IRL. But I can't do it alone. So I'm opening it up to the community, making this a transparent project. Again, we're just doing it for fun, but can we take the fundamental concepts that make things like role-playing games so fun and integrate them into real life? I want your community feedback. Let me know down in the comments what you would actually think this project could even be in the long term. I want to build this in front of everyone so I can get as much feedback as physically possible. So if you're interested in staying tuned to everything that is going to be going on with this project, be sure to hit subscribe down below. And as always, my name is Josh Mountain. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. 